Good afternoon. This is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life. And um, I haven't been making videos the last couple of weeks because I have some health issues. Um, something that came up very unexpectedly. In fact, I expected never to have to deal with what I'm dealing with ever again. What I have was a childhood disease, at least I thought it was, but um, for some reason um, it has come back and um, I'm having some issues. So um, I have what is called a branchial cleft cyst. I think they refer to it as an anomaly now and um, it has very infected, I have a very infected neck. Um, it's, it's usually it's cyst, but it doesn't feel like a cyst. It just feels like I have a lot of fluid buildup in my neck. And um, when I first got it, I let it go for a couple of days because I've had it spike up before and usually it just um, kind of fixed itself. My immune system was strong enough that it, it defeated whatever the bacteria was that was in there. Well, about two weeks ago, it flared up a little and uh, after a couple of days, I realized it wasn't going away. So I had some Keflex uh, antibiotic and I was taking it. I took it for about five days and um, maybe six, but it's my grandson. I woke up on Sunday this past What's today? Today's Friday. Yeah, this past Sunday morning, I got up and m my neck was just, it was swollen. I mean, I have a picture of it. Maybe I'll post it and I'll put it on the slide. But my whole neck was just, it was uh, more sw way more swollen than it, than it is now. It felt like it started from here and then went all the way down. But um, it has backed off quite a bit. I ended up walking in. I ended up going into a walk-in clinic and um, got a prescription for Augmentin, 125 milligrams, and um, it has helped. So I started taking those on Monday and I was hoping that it would start to go down a lot more, but um, I'm still having issues with it. When I went to the walk-in clinic, they told me that I needed to go see a specialist. So that's what I did. I called and made an appointment for today and I went and saw what is an ears, nose, and throat specialist. And um, I got some really bad news. <laughs> uh, we had our consult. He took a look at my ears. He looked at my throat. And I explained to him that I was diagnosed when I was five years old. When I was five, I got really, really sick to the point um, I got so bad that I started wasting away. I could not um, lift my head up off my pillow. And every time I sat up, I would start um, vomiting. So I couldn't keep anything down because I couldn't sit up to eat. Um, I was in the hospital for a long time and the doctors did not know what to do with me. And then one day when my mother was just at her wits end, this young doctor walked in, took a look at me and he said, I know exactly what's wrong with her. Uh, scheduled me for surgery, took me in and uh, removed the cyst that was in my neck. Now that was at five. Now it seemed to crop up every two years after that. I didn't have surgery every time, but um, I just remember that every two years since I was five years old, up until I think I hit puberty, I had some type of flare up or some type of cyst. Sometimes the antibiotics took care of it, um, but uh, at least three more times I had surgery. So I'd say between five and let's say 13, I had three surgeries and I had my last surgery when I was 17. And uh, the doctor, went in, well, that was <laughs> kind of getting ahead of myself. When I was 17, I ended up going to Shands in, um, in Florida. That's the teaching hospital. They sent me there and um, they ended up not doing anything really. Um, I think they ended up giving me antibiotics and referred me to a surgeon that just happened to be in the next city 
that I lived in. Um, we lived in Port St. Lucie and this surgeon, I believe his name was Dr. Walker. If I remember, I don't think that's right, but um, it's been a long time. It's been over 40 years, so it's hard to remember those things. But um, he went in, he removed the cyst and the pus that was in there. And then um, so that it would heal from the inside out, they packed it, which was incredibly painful. But that was the last surgery that I had. But when I was 24, um, I had another incident. I had another cyst pop up, but uh, I would end up on uh, antibiotics and uh, it took care of it. And like I said, since then, I've had it flare up a couple of times, but my immune system took care of it. So when this happened, I was really, really, really um, upset because like I said, this was a childhood disease and I was never supposed to get it again. And uh, since I've had four surgeries, the doctor that I had the consult with today said that this was beyond his expertise. So he's gonna refer me to probably a surgeon at um, UAB. So the, that's a teaching hospital in Birmingham. But um, I'm hoping maybe I could get somebody here in Tuscaloosa, but I don't know, we'll see. But um, he wrote me another prescription. Uh, I haven't picked it up yet. Um, I asked him for something a little bit stronger because this was Augmentin at 125 milligrams and, and I think it just needs something a little bit stronger. But in the meantime, I've been taking it easy. I'm not in any pain. Um, when it first started, I was, I was having a hard time swallowing. Uh, it was very painful. Uh, I'm so thankful that I did not get the earache that comes with this. When I was a child, the worst thing about um, having this uh, bronchial cleft anomaly is what it's referred to now, I believe, is the earaches. The earaches are just awful. And I also, one of the things that I'm concerned about is that it has I remember this uh, bursting um, every once in a while. It would burst at the at the scar. But um, as you can see, it's it's really really red. But um, it doesn't feel like it did the last time I had it. And I'm really really happy because the swelling has gone way way down. And um, but as you can see, it's it's still swollen. <laughs> but uh, I've been taking it easy. We've also had a whole lot of rain here lately. I did go out um, with my family yesterday. We picked a bunch of blueberries. I'm fixing to go run to the grocery store. So it's not like I'm unable to do anything. I just know that from last week, trying to um, do too much, trying to keep up the same schedule that I um, give myself, I can't do that. So uh, I was sleeping a lot too, taking a lot of naps. So I'm not napping anymore. So I, I know that's a really good sign, but um, I'm really afraid to start pushing myself until the inflammation is completely gone and until I can consult um, someone that's more professional. That's not a good word for it because I went to, I went to um, a professional uh, a specialist for my problem. Um, I'm hoping that um, when I do get the appointment that this is all gone. But um, I, if I am going to start having these kinds of problems, I, I do need to make sure that I have a doctor. So that's what I'll do. I'll go in, I'll, go, I'll make the appointment go in and um, hopefully all the swelling's gone and, uh, but I'll have established a doctor, a good ENT that is uh, familiar with what I'm dealing with. Again, it's called bronchial cleft anomaly and it's bronchi bronchial cleft cyst, where cysts um, just kind of pop up in your neck. Um, but it's, I don't know, for me, this has just been, it's been different because instead of staying in the side, it went around the whole front of my face or the front of my neck, which I never had that as, as a child. So um, 
there's a couple of videos that I've been wanting to do. I have a book that uh, I want to do a review of. And maybe that's what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and set up and do a couple of book reviews. Um, I'm just starting to get bored, I'm really not doing a whole lot now. I haven't really been interested in watching videos or I did sit down and try to answer some of the comments, but um, as far as YouTube goes, I've just, <laughs> I just haven't been real interested, which seems to be the ongoing problem um, with my channel this year. It's, uh, I was really gung-ho and then um, I burn out and when I just I think that I'm going to get back on and uh, start going again, something else happens. So that's just the way it is. Um, good news is that we did catch the raccoon that was killing my chickens and we are working on a coyote trap to kill the coyote that's across the street. So far we haven't lost any more chickens um, and that's that's really good. I wanted to do a video on that, but um, I was kind of in, I, I didn't want to do a video with my face and my neck, but you know, it's a lot better than what it was, so I don't mind it so much now. And uh, like I said, I pick up my um, prescription from my local pharmacy and I'm hoping that it's stronger and that it does the trick to get rid of the rest of the swelling. And uh, hopefully we can do it this way because I do not have insurance and uh, I don't mind paying out of pocket, but so far I've just spent a couple hundred dollars for a doctor to tell me that I need to go see somebody else. So yeah, I'm not, not real happy with that, but that's the way it goes. So guys, I just ask that you, um, you know, in your prayers, if you say a little prayer for me for healing, I do appreciate it. And um, like I said, I'm going to try to do some review on some books. I also have some kids books that I was going to do for my other channel. Um, and we'll see. I just, I haven't been really motivated to do anything. I've just kind of been, I do stuff that I need to do around the house. I've um, <laughs> I've processed quite a few tomatoes and I've ended up throwing quite a few tomatoes out because I just didn't get to them fast enough. But I tell you what, my chickens are loving it. Uh, I got some peaches. I made some, um, excuse me, I made some peach jam. I froze some peaches. Goodness, I've put away several gallons of blueberries. Um, so, you know, I haven't been just out and not doing anything, but definitely not doing as much as I had planned to, especially, you know, this time of year. But, uh, I guess that's going to be it. Again, guys, if you just say a couple prayers for me for this to go away, that would be great. <laughs> and, um, like I said, I'm very, very thankful and blessed that I didn't have the earache. That would have been awful. But, um... I also want to say thank you for those who have already been praying for me who already were aware of what was going on. But um, yeah, if you want to know anything else about this, I can answer it. Just uh, ask, put the questions in the comments. I'll answer it as best as I can. Like I said, this is a childhood birth defect actually that um, appeared when I was about five and uh, I'm really shocked that it came back at uh, this late date, but um, you never know what happens. You really don't. So you guys have a blessed and joyous day and I will see you on my next video.